Hello, good morning, guys. My name is Muhammad Asim Akram. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to host a static website on AWS S3 bucket, right? So the procedure will be following up all the steps required. First prerequisite is that you, requ you required one AWS account. You can watch my videos and create free AWS account with AWS cloud provider, right? Second thing that we need to create a one S3 bucket and I will create the S3 bucket and I will show you how to create that S3 bucket and we will do some of the editings, right? Uh, making the bucket as a public and we will add one policy, right? Using the policy generator and we will make a, some simple starting one NDS index.html file, right? And we'll make that uh, our website as a public and we will access that, okay? These are the steps required. So let's uh, not waste more time. Let's go to the article uh, and I will show you how to create this bucket, okay? on your account right you will be uh, opening the s3 management console over here so the s3 management console will be opening right so after that you will be receiving the uh, just you have to click on the create bucket and it's a global service right so i'll be clicking on the create bucket over here and it will give the prone just to pass all the details in my current uh, scenario my region is ap ap south which is the nearest to my local area right so you can select what is the nearest over there then it's prompting us to provide the bucket name which has to be unique globally because it's a global uh, global service with the, all the names what we are going to keep it it has to be unique right so what i'm going to give it i'm going to give it uh, the unique name of my bucket so let's i can give it our website right just to remember that this uh, this uh, this bucket has going to be used to host my static website over here right so i'm just uh, adding over here website demo Then afterwards, I'll be scrolling down. Then it's saying the ASL disable and block all public access for current scenario. I'll keep everything as a default. Then we will go and we will uh, do all the setting while processing this video, right? So after this, what I'm going to do it, I'm just going to create this bucket. So this bucket is getting created. It will take some like uh, 10, 15 seconds. Then you'll be find that uh, website demo yt uh, bucket is public now sorry it has been created okay so the next thing if you check it with the bucket the bucket is created the properties uh permissions metrics and management these are all things if you go down over here you'll be finding that the bu uh, bucket version is disabled right so and if you go down then you'll be finding one option over here right then you'll be seeing that s3 uh, sorry website settings right so if you check it away you'll be finding the static website hosting so in the by default when you create the bucket it's showing that this is disabled right so now which i've shown you which is showing that it is disabled so now our bucket name is website demo so what we are going to do it now just we'll go into bottom of this one and we are seeing the stating website hosting is what it says disabled so first use case what i'm going to do, to do it i'm going to do it this enable okay so it's showing that host a static website right yes this is our the use case which we are going to uh, check out in this video right so this is fine then it's saying that please bring your one index.html file okay so specify the home page i'm saying that the name of the file itself is index.html okay so after that it's showing that okay save changes so I'm getting safe changes, right? Right. So now I have defined that in my bucket, there is one index.html file, right? So, but my bucket is empty, okay? So now it has given one URL as well when I've created this uh, bucket enable. So when I'm clicking over here, it will show you some error for you, right? Because it's forbidden currently because it does not have any public access, okay? That we were going to check it out. Don't worry, we will configure this as well. So let's uh, go scroll up. Then we will see the permissions over here then the permissions if i'm going in the permissions then i will to find that block all public access is enabled okay so i'll be clicking on this edit right then now what i'm going to i'm going to check out this point and stating that please create this my bucket as a public access right it can be accessed publicly so it's prompting me to confirm that i'm going to type dash confirm over here and i'll click on the confirm then then it's uh, the changes will be applied then it's saying that successfully edited block public access setting for this bucket right so now the second thing is when i'm going to make this bucket public then i need to define some policy so i'll be clicking on this edit because i'm going to say that whatever available in the bucket that has to be accessed by the public okay so the simple thing that i have in my document right i have created one sample uh, s3 uh, s3 bucket uh, policy over here but the best practice is to let i'll show you that how i have created right so what i'm going to do is i'll go back over uh, 
uh, over to the S3 bucket there. Uh, okay. I will show you how we can create it. If you scroll down over here, you are going to see that there is a one policy generator over here, right? So what I'm going to do it just this is in the JSON format. If you don't know how to create JSON also, we can use this policy generator. If you click on this policy generator, then it will ask you some steps, right? Which I have to follow. Step one, step two, step three. Okay. First step, what I'm going to create the policy that is for S3 bucket. So in the drop down, I'll be checking out S3 bucket policy. Okay. So after that, it's saying that what I'm going to define, I'm going to use that star. So then whatever available in the my bucket that has to be all to be displayed. Okay. Then in the uh, in the down drop down, then I'll be selecting one option over here, right? Get public access. Okay. So let me search over here. So I'm going over down down where it is get public yes just i'm checking the get object uh i'm adding one rule over here then i'm going to give you the arn so what is my arn arn is over here so arn is s3 site demo dot yt so every bucket will uh, bucket will have one arn okay just i'm pasting over here so i just i'm getting that statement statement is added i'm now saying that please create a generator right please create a policy so the policy is created just i'm going to copy this policy okay so i'm going to copy this policy i'm going to paste it over here right fine so now the thing is that i need to do some editing over here right so what is the editing over here in the sense uh, that bucket name has been defined but i'm going to say that in the bucket whatever the content is in that content needs to be displayed okay so i'm going to give it slash and a string right i'm going to give a star content right so it state that all the object whatever is available over there that has to be displayed as a public object okay so that is done then let me okay uh, check it over here there is a one syntax error which i have uh, accidentally deleted the comma over here right so just to fix it json format i'm giving the comma again so it will uh, validate my code right policy it's saying that it's fine right so now the thing is that we have a policy is okay so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to save it now okay just i'm showing you that i missed out this point so please uh, be careful when you're creating the policy right so by accidentally you cannot delete anything save changes then afterward the changes has been reflected right now uh, the policy also had been edited so now what we need to do it is that uh, simply i need to upload some content right because I don't have anything in this S3 bucket. So, so simply what I'm going to do it, I'm going to go into the objects, into my bucket and that to the objects, right? So let me open my bucket one more time, which is website demo Y. Then after I'll be clicking uh, create upload, sorry, upload object. I'll be clicking on this upload for object. I have one simple HTML file, right? Which is index.html that I'm going to upload it, okay? So I'll be searching on the file which I have just i'll be checking down the file index right index.html so this is the index html the simple that will show you that welcome to my channel right it kind of content i will show you what is this file uh, while accessing okay so now if you check it over here you'll be finding that this uh, the object is getting uh, added over there right Okay, that's fine. So now the point is that index.html has been updated, uh, uploaded on my S3 bucket. Okay, now what we did, we have made our public, uh, our S3 bucket public, and what we have done, we have created website is enabled. Okay, static website hosting is enabled. Then afterward, already I have added the policy as well. Okay, so if you scroll down over here, you'll be sending that the name I have given that index.html. The same name I have uh, uploaded the document over there, right? So that uh, the document itself is index.html file. Okay, so the everything prerequisite has been completed. Now what we are going to do is just I'm going to take this URL of my bucket and I'm going to access this one. Okay, so the URL where you are going to get, if you go scroll down over here, then you'll be finding one website URL, which I'm going to access over here. Okay. So if I click over here, see, I'm going to find that this website demo dot is accessible. It's stating that welcome to my channel, Cloud Awesome, free DevOps and knowledge uh, hands on in the real time project. Uh, please share and clips uh, channel to subscribe over here so it's a simple file which will uh, display your content over here in index.html so if you have any uh, additional big file also that doesn't make difference this is depend on uh, what content do you have so the process will be the same just you need to upload the multiple files over here okay this is the only one normal like standard of uh, practice like i am just just uploaded one of the html file right 
uh, you may ask this is only simple which can handle no it can handle a lot of files so how that it happens what i will do it i will delete this fine i will delete this object now what we will do it uh, we will upload right i'll go to the upload i'll click the upload then i'll go i'll go to the folder when where i have all the contents right i'll just upload all the contents or i can just take all it select all just press upload so this five files been uploaded but i need to add the folders also right so i'll click first folder it does it providing me option to select all no it's not providing so what i will do it? first i will upload sss right css sorry sss i have mentioned then i'll click image then I will just upload here. No, I missed out some point. JS, right? Fine. So what I have done, I have uploaded all all related files of my website. Static website, right? It's getting uploaded. So just wait for the few seconds. Let's uh, all the objects which we call files to be uploaded in S3 bucket. because my website is very huge where you can find my website in the sense the content I will just give you that also uh, if you go for the github right if you go for the github see this is the one okay you just download all the contents from here you can either uh, poke it from here or you can use a uh, git uh, clone command to download or you can download it physically also you come to this uh, my repo the repo is public from here you can use all the content and you can upload it fine it's taking time to upload just we will wait few seconds The objects are uploaded 100%. Okay, let me close. Okay, if you see here, all the content is there, right? I have all the files is almost like eight objects. Let me refresh this. What I have, uh, I have folders. Okay, I have the content of this HTML folder, folder, folder. Let me go and refresh this. Yes, see. Uh, my website is live where it is accessible through URL right of what uh, our s3 bucket URL uh, How do I say that if you click in the properties if you go down here, you'll be finding This is a website, right? If you click here it Start downloading Fine. Okay, is this website is functional? Let's go and check if you click about Yes, you are into this page if you check portfolio you are into the page if you check services you are into the page if you check uh, if you click on the contact us yes our static website is live right 